Welcome back to the Morning Blend, where we are transforming your health with Columbia St. Mary's, part of Ascension. Our neck is one of the true giveaways of our Ugh. age. Don't look. <laughs> Over time, the skin begins to sag. But the biggest complaints with neck lift surgery has been a reoccurrence after a few years. It just kind of sags again. Comes back. Right, yeah. So today, a surgeon from right here in Wisconsin has designed and developed a new procedure. It reverses the signs of aging, and so far, the results have lasted, get this, up Ooh. to 15 years. That's right. We're here with Dr. John Youssef to discuss the hyoid suspension neck lift. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Nice I love this. I think this is fascinating because uh, as women, we know our neck mm -hmm. and our hands are the two giveaways of our age. Yes. You know, that's true. it really affects aesthetics of the face. That's yes. That's it's amazing how you, you can see someone's face and you can't tell. But as soon as you see the neck. Right. You so know what is right. it that gives it away? So, you know, there's a lot of things that can change over a period of time. I mean, you can have excess fat. Even in youth, that can be present. Uh, mm -hmm. And then over a period of time, you, you have these vertical lines. You know, that's uh, that's actually a muscle that's moving forward. If you get a shot of our neck, we can do it, right? Do We're not muscle. supposed, to, yeah. So you kind of really are we, we going to do this? Yeah. You can, you can tell the age right. are, are different. So that's age. the muscle. That's the platysma act, actually Let's activating. I think there's a photograph of that, but uh, that muscle. We used to think you wanted to exercise oh, the yeah. neck. That's the platysma, and you. We used to think you wanted to a exercise the neck to strengthen it. Actually, you, you want to actually quiet that muscle. You don't want to do you that. You don't want to do that because okay. that over, unknown to you, you're doing that all the time. And that muscle wants to go straight from the chin to the chest. <gasps> and so it's pushing oh, it forward really like the next it. photograph, I think, is a, um, is a comparison. In youth, you see that muscle with activity and then mm -hmm. over a period of time, you see it even at rest. Okay, so that muscle there, what does it help us do? I mean, what, uh, is a, it important? A, no, it's a vestigial muscle. And it was there what does that kind mean? Of, uh, it's, it was there before, uh, you know, in our ancient times where we tried Indeed. to make our, our face look larger or more okay. aggressive. Or whatever. So that muscle is, is unimportant for function. Almost like a, like a, a lizard or whatever right. that kind of like fans right. out their right. neck. <laughs> unimportant for function. Yeah. Right. Right. So right. we don't need it anymore. You don't need it. You don't want to work it. So this lift okay. that you de designed yes. is called the hyoid suspension neck lift. It right. deals with that specific muscle. This is a before and oh after. Oh my goodness. That's dramatic. I mean, that is incredibly dramatic. <clears throat> so yeah. Th so what, what other procedures did was simply try to bring, uh, there's a, a, a hundred procedures oh, for that muscle. Look at that. And, um, so other procedures just brought the edges together or cut the muscle. And what I did was you, you really can't do that. You wow. really want to have that muscle support the, the uh, underlying structures. And you can see the structures. That's oh the activity. Oh, my gosh. And that's uh, two years later where <gasps> you can't do that anymore. And I've had that up oh. to 14 to 15 years where you can't do that. That's a patient five years later. Wow. Right. And you see does, the, it, does it change anything? I mean, do, you said you don't really need those muscles. So it doesn't change anything with eating, with smiling. Nope. Oh no. my gosh, that's look, she looks like a younger a different person sister yeah. of right. herself. Right, right, and that that's and and the neck part is. I mean, I've facial surgery is really hard. And I yeah. think you know people kind of try to do it, or and I've spent a lifetime or a, a career at least trying to scientifically study what is a way to make the face face look more youth, youthful, but also look natural and last longer and. I think that's an important thing, you know, and uh, certainly the neck makes a huge part of it. That's kind of what makes this difference is this is going to last you a good long time, whereas <coughs> right. the other procedures are, it's just going to go back to setting. It goes back get those or, cords or you again. see a cord again or you see a central cord where they brought yes. the muscle together. It, it's it's not as good. So how long is the recovery? Because someone's going to say, well, great, I get this done. But a lot of people don't want others to know that they've right. done something like right. this. Right. So, uh, you know, I, other I, people I don't care. People rest you know, for, a, for about a couple weeks, two weeks. And okay. then the third week they're doing pretty well and, and, and they're off. You know, the third or fourth week, they're basically back to normal. And you're not going to have any trouble with the swallowing nope, or anything like no, that? No, exactly. You no. Know, you we, we reviewed 110 patients. Just okay. Our publication in December was 110 patients over a, that was a seven-year period. We're still reviewing these patients. But no one had complaints with swallowing or issues right. and, and full activity in the neck and still lasting that length of time. What so, kind of age do people consider this at? Because I would think, I mean, you know, during the break, we're hitting up the doctor being like, I got oh this vein gosh, here, sure. I got this line here. Right. How do I <laughs> deal with this? Right. So, I I mean, we, so, we obviously notice signs of aging in our 20s, 30s, you know, and beyond. It gets, it just continues. Right. So you, you, you can do that in terms of aging. You can also, I've done it in younger individuals that have fuller neck or, or, or areas that are visible. Um, I think, you know, everyone's different, but the idea that over a period of time, someone becomes more um, 
aware of their neck changes, then I think that's an appropriate time to, to do that operation. So as soon as you notice that yeah. you don't like you the don't way it like looks, it. Right. And it's, it's, you're wearing right. scarves, you're wearing turtlenecks, right. you're wearing something right. to cover All your neck. Turtlenecks. And, and you can help prevent it. I mean, there's ways that, you know, as I said before, we tried to exercise that neck and exercise right. that muscle. You can, you know, some people come in and if you see that line a little visibly, uh, then you can potentially do some you Botox know, to quiet that muscle okay. and it actually drops back a bit. Here's the exercise I always was taught that you do. Now you're saying don't do this because it tightens uh, in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. You, you but know, don't do it. It's just it, making it worse, yeah, right? Yeah, you don't want to do that. You want to quiet the, the neck. So you want to let it relax. Right. Do Be anything relaxed. With it. Just take it easy. <laughs> okay. Quiet Thank your you. neck. Other so things that we can do is make sure we stay out of UV rays, right. things like that. But exactly. you can contact Dr. John Youssef by um, visiting Columbia St. Mary's by going columbia-stmarys.org or the phone number to call is 414-332-DOCS. The name of this procedure, again, the hyoid suspension neck lift. Ask for him. He'll take a look. You can figure out what works best for you. Thanks so much you for joining us. You beautiful, so that's... Thank you. Just this band. Gotta get rid of that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thanks, let's, Doctor. Let's talk. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>